I haven't posted a video in quite a while. However, I have been quite busy on the homestead. You see, I stepped away from the wood side of the shop over into the metal side of the shop. Here I'm pulling down my old workbench light. Got a lot of work done on this bench under this light, but uh, new things are going on over here. You see, my son, he's been getting more and more into metalworking at school and so we wanted to create a space where both he and I could work on metal, grind on metal, weld on metal, get a forge going, and not burn down our shop in the process. So with that being said, it was time for some of the old things to come off the wall to prepare for the drywall that uh, has slowly been showing its face into this side of the shop. Um, I was fortunate enough to pick up a couple of crumbled sheets from the local um, home improvement store. They were cracked on the bottom corners. Um, but it was no big deal to me. I got them for a good deal, so I was able to get that drywall up, as you saw in the last video. And so here I'm just removing screws from the wall, getting the walls ready for that drywall to go up. And then I have a stack of corrugated metal that uh, is going to go up over the top of the drywall. Mr. Dude with a Face has been a great help during all this, my son. Um, he helped me hang a lot of metal on this side of the shop. Um, I don't know, I don't remember exactly how many sheets that him and I hung together, but uh, he was there all the way when it came to hanging this metal. Uh, we spent uh, a Sunday afternoon um, cutting a couple of these sheets to fit and getting them screwed up on the wall to fit. This is some old metal that I bought off of a, an old farmer. He had, it, uh, he had a lean-to built over uh, some cattle so the cattle could stay out of the weather if they needed to. So I picked up oh 31 32 sheets of this for easily probably 25 percent of the cost of what i'd be brand new but with a little cleaning up we only had to cut a few sheets um, there were some that were in worse condition than others but uh, we made do with what we had here on the homestead and that's what uh, mattered lots of hardware I probably spent more on hardware than anything. <laughs> Again, my son was a great help just driving all the hardware that had to go in 
so that we can get these metal sheets over the top of the drywall, as you can see here. Boy, the shop was a mess too. It was really tight to work in here because we had moved all the equipment in towards the middle of the room so we could have access around the exterior of the walls. So, in a nutshell, that's what we've been doing in the shop. We've simply been getting it ready so that we have a open area that we can fabricate, we can make, we can build, we can weld, we can grind, we can just get projects done. Um, it's nice having the metal up on the wall, kind of fireproofing this area. Um, we've got a really clean workspace. Uh, we've got the Pepsi machine still here. That probably is going to go away here in the future. I've got another uh, piece of equipment in mind that's going to go there. Um, I'm not going to spoil what's going to go there, so you'll just have to stay tuned in the future for that one. Um, we've got this wood workbench area. Might put a, a thin metal top on it. Um, we've got the steel uh, welding table that I got from my father. Um, it's a wonderful, wonderful welding table. It's nice and thick. You, um, it, it's just, it's been really nice to be able to move this around. The table doesn't get hot because it's so thick. Um, it, it takes the heat on well. Um, we've got a wire feed welder under here from uh, Harbor Scrap Iron um, that he started out with, uh, Mr. Dude with a Face. Uh, we've got his stick welder. Um, the stick welder is really cool. He really enjoys that. He's really good with it too. Um, we've got his, I don't even know why I call this my shop. It should just more be his metal shop because most everything over here that's really cool now is his. Uh, he's got his uh, toolbox over here with tools in it um, so that we have access to tools for when we're working on stuff, building stuff. And he's got... He just recently bought something. Uh, I'm really proud. Uh, he just bought an Xbox 360. No, just kidding. He didn't buy an Xbox 360. However, if you haven't subscribed already, you better because you gotta check out the latest piece of equipment that my 16 year old by himself with his own money brought into the shop. There's gonna be some videos coming up on this, so check this out. That's right. He bought a lathe.